Hi, Scissorin here with another video and today we're going to be covering how to create plus two amulets. Here we're going to go to craftofexile.com and then create new item. Obviously you can do this on any base. It needs to be at least item level 75. That's when you can start getting the gem levels and I don't have any influence on these. The first thing you want to do is you want to alteration craft until you get plus one skill gems. And this is usually like 1,600 alts on average. Obviously, you can get lucky, uh, but I've had some times where it takes three or 4,000 alts to get it. So that's a pain. Now you want to regal, and the outcome isn't super important. This is a big chance of breaking the uh, prefixes, but this is an okay outcome. So I'll show you what happens on, on each outcome. So here we have plus one skill gems and maximum mana. Now we can do uh, multimod. And then prefixes cannot be changed and it cannot roll attack modifiers. Now, the important thing here, we have one open prefix. And this is important because what we're going to do, it'll add it first and then remove. So if you had two prefixes here, this would not work. Uh, I'll give a quick example. So if now we wanted to make this plus two fire, it would give us that error. Um... And that's changed fairly recently. So let's say I wanted to make this a plus two fire. Boom. It's now guaranteed plus two fire. The, the problem with this, obviously, this will keep the mana there no matter what. And this works with um, everything. Plus one chaos, plus one cold, uh, plus one lightning, etc. So this is a really, really good way of getting a plus two amulet. What if you don't want the mana there? Well, you can take a higher risk when you do have uh, the two prefixes. Instead of prefixes cannot be changed, you can just craft a random suffix. So what changes now is that you have a 66% chance of getting plus two. You have a 33% chance that it'll remove the, uh, the plus one skill and just make it plus one. But you do have, so yeah, 66% chance with this that you will end up getting the plus two uh, completely. And you have a 33% chance whether it's gonna be with the mana or without the mana. So best case scenario uh, with this one, if you do want to use this instead of annulling, then yeah, 33% chance that it removes the uh, mana and then you have plus one skill, plus one fire uh, and the other suffixes. Now there's a couple of different things you can do for suffixes. So you can now craft life and you have a couple of, of options here, right? You can craft life and you could um, exalt it twice or sorry, three times and hope for good suffixes. This would be insanely good because I had tier one dot multi. But that's not super realistic. Uh, it's also not what I did for my amulet. So I had break prefixes, so it was slightly easier. But if you want to have a good chance of still having an open prefix, what you can do is you do multi mod. Uh, then first craft whatever doesn't really matter you don't have to craft life at this stage uh, being craft life and then prefixes cannot be changed so there's a couple of things you can do now so um reforged chaos is really nice because this ends up guaranteeing chaos res i think you are supposed to be able to do a veiled chaos orb at this stage too but craft of exile throws an error i reported that because i'm pretty sure you should be able to do a veiled chaos orb at this point uh, that is a little risky, so is the Reforged Chaos, because it could fill up the suffixes. Um, but that's not really a huge deal, because it's not like you're um, not going to fill them up anyway. Um, if you do this, what you can do after hitting Chaos is you can do Multimod, Life, and then whatever else you want. So this is pretty nice. You could also just craft Life and Exalt two suffixes. So those are the choices you have there. And you could also play play along with uh, prefixes cannot be changed and veiled Katarina craft. Now, if you're wondering why don't we at this stage just do prefixes cannot be changed and, and reforge chaos? Like, why do we do the multimod? Well, the problem is that while it says prefixes cannot be changed, that means the ones that are already there. It doesn't mean it can't add something that isn't there before. So it can actually end up breaking your prefix. Now let's go all the way back and look at some of the other things. So what if you've augmented it first? 
what if it looks like this honestly like annulling it down till it's just plus one skill this isn't bad this is actually pretty good because then we can do what we had before except we have no risky prefix right so if you do get a plus one all skill gems and you can have three or multi-mod prefixes cannot be changed and you cannot roll attack modifiers now you can literally guarantee plus one of whatever you want you can play around with that and that's very very nice now you can like finish the amulet what about this this is actually very easy so now we can do prefix cannot be changed and scour however then it's blue again so this is an issue as well so uh hitting two suffixes not great obviously you can annul them off so if we at this point we don't really have much we can do we could scour we could annul um but with two it's kind of annoying so ideally you do really want to like annulling it down is probably your most efficient bet but uh, at least that's some ways to make amulets, and I hope that helps. It is obviously, it does end up costing a lot of divines, but divines are pretty easy to get from the Sanctum this league. So, hope that helps. Let me know in the comments down below, and uh, sub if you liked the video, but more importantly, try to die less than I do.